Hey guys, I have a grocery on a budget video for you today. I've done this in the past, but what we eat has kind of changed. So I wanna to talk to you about where I get my groceries and how much they cost and how I pick where I shop at. Let's jump into it. And the main stores that I shop at are Costco, Walmart, Target. On occasion, I'll go to Trader Joe's. On occasion, I'll go to Fry's, Smith's, Fred Meyer, Kroger's. But today, I actually went to Aldi for the first time. So I'm gonna go over the price with you of the things that I got at Aldi and how it compares to everything else. I literally wrote down all the foods that we eat and how much they are at Walmart, how much they are at Target, how much they are per ounce. I'm gonna show you the foods that we eat. This is gonna be a really long video. So grab a snack and buckle in. The things that we eat most often are cereal for the kids in the morning, bread, peanut butter, and jelly for lunch, apples, bananas, oranges, carrots, fruit, leather, fruit strips, squeezy fruit, veggie pouches, and then obviously there's pasta. Oh, broccoli. How could I forget broccoli? Some things I also do get on Amazon because Amazon has subscribe and save, so things automatically get sent to you. You can find things for cheap sometimes. So there are a few specialty items that I get at specialty places. Okay, so let's go right to broccoli and talk about how much broccoli is. From Walmart, broccoli is one forty-eight a pound. From Aldi, it is one twenty-five a pound. And Aldi's pretty cool and actually has it cut up for you and already packaged, so you don't have to worry about other people touching your broccoli. So that's nice. I have on occasion also gone to Winco to get a few things, broccoli being one of them. I actually really love the way broccoli is cut at Winco because they remove a lot of the stock, which we end up throwing away anyway, so I'm paying for it and wait. Okay, Aldi is the winner for broccoli. Next thing, bananas. Bananas are 29 cents a pound at Aldi, and they are 49 cents a pound at Walmart. So much cheaper. These are pretty cheap at Trader Joe's, but I don't go to Trader Joe's that often. There are really not many things that I find at Trader Joe's that I can't find at other places. There are only two things that I go to Trader Joe's for, so I'll just butt in right now and tell you what those are. First thing is organic whole wheat pasta. It is really reasonably priced and it's one of the only stores you can find it at. Target, on rare occasion, will have organic whole wheat pasta, but they don't anymore. It's one thirty-nine for a pound of pasta at Target, but again, super rare and hard to find, and they only have like farfalle bow ties, whereas Trader Joe's only has a few silly spirals and spaghetti. So if I can find the farfalle at Target, I get it. If I can find these at Trader Joe's, I get them because they're pretty much the only stores that have them for cheap. Okay, while we're on the topic of pasta and dinner, let's talk about pasta sauce. Honestly, I usually get a big pack of Classico or Bertoli's spaghetti sauce from Costco. But if I'm gonna get an individual jar, it is $1.98 at Walmart and $1.99 at Target. So it literally makes no difference. In fact, Target ends up being cheaper because I have my 5% off for my red card. But we, prefer a higher quality pasta sauce. Now I know I can make it myself, but I don't. So one of these things to keep in mind is that when you buy like more generic, cheaper versions of things, the flavor might not be the same, the quality might not be the same. So just keep that in mind. Hold on, Peanut. On that note, let's talk about oatmeal. Oatmeal are not all created equal. I usually get my organic apple cinnamon oatmeal at Sprouts because it's the flavor that I like the best. I've gotten it at Whole Foods and I don't like it. It's very like maple-y. But Aldi had organic apple cinnamon oatmeal. I was really, really excited. Oh, I also love Safeway's apple cinnamon oatmeal. Safeway's is good. So oatmeal from Sprouts, the one that I usually get is $3.69 for a container. And for this oatmeal, it was $2.19. So much cheaper. And I just looked on the Safeway app and it doesn't even show the apple cinnamon oatmeal. But if it did, like the maple brown sugar one, it's $3.99. So it's even more expensive than Sprouts. So hopefully this will taste good because this will save me so much money. Another win for Aldi if it tastes good. Okay, another thing talking about quality, mac and cheese. Now this isn't something we eat super often, but if we watch other people's kids, <laughs> we make mac and cheese for lunch or dinner for them because I'm not gonna deal with other people's picky kids. So, 
Mac and cheese. I've never tried it. I don't know if it tastes good, but I do know that we love Target's mac and cheese actually. So Target's mac and cheese is $1.49 a box and all these mac and cheese is $1.48 a box. So they end up being like the same. Just depends on which one tastes better. I don't know, we'll see. We'll try it, I'll report back. Another thing about quality versus price, blue corn tortilla chips. I have tried every type of blue corn tortilla chip under the sun. My best friend Casey told me that all these are amazing. I personally love Target Good and Gather brand or the Walmart Great Value organic brand. I love both of them. So what I found is that Walmart's chips were $1.98 and Target's were $3.99, but it's a much bigger bag. So the price per ounce is actually much cheaper. It was like 25 cents an ounce for Walmart and 22 cents an ounce from Target. So let's see what Aldi's is. These were $1.95 from Aldi for their chips, 24 cents an ounce. So they're actually more expensive than Target. Targets are cheaper. I'll show you the Target one. It's a big family bag. They're really thick and crunchy and perfectly salted. Sometimes I don't like blue corn tortilla chips that are too like flaky. They're thin. They just fall apart or they're not salted enough. These are Perfect. So Target is the winner for blue corn tortilla chips by flavor and price. All right, let's talk about oranges. These little mandarin oranges, like wannabe cuties, a three pound bag from Walmart is $5.12. I paid $2.49. Can you believe that? Like $3 cheaper nearly. So Aldi is the winner for mandarin oranges. Fruit snacks, not something we eat super often, but as a reward sometimes I'll give my kids fruit snacks. They are $3.58 from Walmart, 35 cents per ounce. And all these were $3.49 in total, so 36 cents an ounce. Good job, Mom. You just do that just like I do that. Good job. So Walmart ends up being a tiny bit cheaper, but barely. So this is one of the things that you just take it based on the quality, which ones you prefer the taste. My kids like these because of the shape. They're the shapes and they taste good. The Walmart ones are smileys, which are a little bit um, like waxy, shiny, weird. So I actually prefer all these for the same price. Okay, a pantry staple, canned beans. I do have quite a stock of canned things, canned soup, canned beans, canned corn, food storage in case of emergencies. So a can of organic beans, they're pretty much the same price anywhere you go. 92 cents at Walmart, 99 cents at Target, 89 cents at Aldi. So it's only saving you a few cents, but it is cheaper at Aldi. So there's another win for Aldi. While we're on the fruit and veggie trend, something I get is frozen veggies. So from Target for a bag of organic peas and carrots, it's $1.99. For the Aldi organic corn or peas, it's $1.25. So it is definitely cheaper at Aldi. Walmart corn is $1.37. So still cheaper at Aldi. We got some other organic frozen veggies. Bread, I mentioned our bread. This bread from Walmart is $4.48 and from Target it's $4.79. Now they don't have it at Aldi, so I just wanted to point out that I do get this at Walmart. Every time I go, I stock up so I can at least have one in the freezer because we go through so much bread. Also, the only place we get our peanut butter is Target. It's the only place that has organic, creamy peanut butter that has sugar in it. <laughs> CJ does not like natural peanut butter that's just peanuts and salt. Okay, there are some other random odds and ends, things that I buy from random places. I somewhat often do a Amazon Whole Foods grocery delivery because Whole Foods isn't super close to me, but they do deliver to us for free if you spend over $35. I get organic graham crackers from Whole Foods, but here is a really good quality comparison. So these Whole Foods brand organic wheat crackers are supposed to be like wheat thins. So are these from Fry's. They do not taste even remotely like each other. These Tastes like wheat thins. They're sweet and salty and delicious. These from Whole Foods are very like onion-y. They're much more savory than sweet. So I personally don't like the Whole Foods ones, 
I like the ones from Fry's better. So if you're looking for organic wheat thins, Fry's. Fry's. Again, it's not about price for me. At that point, it's about quality, which tastes the best. Here are the cereals we eat. They are actually cheaper at Target than they are at Walmart, but I ended up getting them at Amazon on subscribe and save because they're actually cheaper on Amazon and they come to me consistently and I save money with my Amazon card and Amazon subscribe and save. I end up saving like at least 10%. So I get my cereal on Amazon. So here's the peanut butter from Target that I get. We get this um, black cocoa. It's like it's like a dark chocolate instead of the normal Nutella. It's a dark chocolate and it is organic because nuts need to be organic. So this is from Walmart. Whole Foods does have an organic like Nutella spread, but it's not dark chocolate and it is more expensive. But in a pinch. If for some reason the Walmart I go to doesn't have this, we get the Whole Foods one. All right, a couple other random little snacks for my kids while we're out and about. We get these like fruit leathers from Costco, but I actually prefer, there are some from Target. They look like this. They actually have vegetable in it. So I prefer that. At least they're getting some vegetables too and not just fruit. So I'm not gonna be buying these anymore from Costco. I will be only buying the ones from Target. And Target also has these little fruit strips, which are much cheaper than the Pure brand. And then we also get these Cascadian Farms oat chocolate granola bar. There are other granola bars that we, we've gotten in the past that are like this, but they have way more chocolate chips. So obviously we don't want them to have too much sugar. So these are much more oaty than they are chocolatey. Because of my baking business, we get all of our sugar and flour in bulk. Um, I get it sent to me. So I can't really give you prices on that. Apples I pretty much exclusively get from Walmart. They come in a bag, organic. We get green Granny Smith apples or Pink Lady apples. Those are the kinds of apples we eat. Sometimes Walmart won't have them, in which case I will go to Safeway or Fry's. And now, just a plug about other grocery stores like that is that sometimes they have really good sales, but I don't go to those stores often, only if I can't find what I need at Walmart or Target pretty much. It's just not my go-to because typically things are more expensive there. However, just like the Fry's brand of Wheat Thins I showed you, they do have their Simple Truth Organic brand, which sometimes is pretty darn cheap. So let me just reiterate where I get my pasta. Trader Joe's, occasionally Target, or Whole Foods. Whole Foods also has spaghetti and penne, but I had to buy linguine online because I can't find it in stores. If I want specialty shapes like elbows or orzo, I have to be lucky and find it at Safeway or Fry's, but it's just luck. Not every store has these things. So it's just kind of if I'm running out of things and I can't find them at Walmart or Target, that's when I will go to look at these other grocery stores and price doesn't even matter to me because I need to get this item. And if the only place I can find it is Fry's, then I'm going to pay for it at Fry's. Now I'll just take you with me through my pantry and my fridge to show you anything else that we have. Organic popcorn I get from Walmart. Make it ourselves, coconut oil. I already showed you our snacks and cereal. Lunch stuff, again, bananas, onions, doesn't matter, I get those at Walmart. Most of my canned stuff that's organic I get from Walmart, but again, Aldi is cheaper in some ways, so I do find that at Aldi now, which is really exciting. I get our mayo at Costco because it's much cheaper there to get a big one. I get organic tomato sauce from Costco for making pizza sauce. But pizza sauce is a lot easier to make than spaghetti sauce. I should make my own, but I don't. All right, into the fridge. Heavy cream, I can't believe I forgot to mention this. So we eat a lot of pasta. That means we end up eating cream sauces. So heavy cream, you can find a big one at select Costco. But otherwise, there's the Horizon brand, which is way expensive. It's like $5 for a little thing. Much cheaper on Whole Foods. So I get our organic heavy cream at Whole Foods if I can't find it at Costco. Are you okay? Yeah. Organic strawberry jelly is from Costco. I get organic milk from Walmart. It's the Walmart brand, and it's cheaper than 
Target. But I actually keep organic milk in the freezer from Costco, just in case. Because have you ever gone in your fridge and been like, oh no, there's only a little bit of milk. We don't have any more. So I always keep some extra milk in the freezer in case I need it. My kids are obsessed with pickles. Like obsessed. I get organic pickles at Walmart. Costco is the cheapest place for Greek yogurt. Literally this giant tub is so cheap compared to anywhere else. Eggs and butter I get at Costco usually, but Honestly, there aren't many things that I go to Costco for these days other than like milk, eggs, butter. So I will just get them from Walmart. Twelve. I was actually really impressed Twelve. that Aldi had Irish butter because that's what I get. As you can see, I get the Kerrygold butter. So I was really impressed that they had them for pretty cheap at Aldi. So maybe I won't even need to go to Costco anymore. Okay, other random things from grocery stores. So this is from Fry's, The Simple Truth Organic Mustard. I hear you, I hear you. I get my giant Parmesan cheese at Costco. You guys know that. Apples. Oh, organic cream cheese. It's one of those things that you can find at Whole Foods for pretty cheap. I should do a comparison to see which one's cheaper. I think it's Whole Foods. I think Whole Foods is cheaper for organic cream cheese. All right, this has been a really, really long video. Those are the majority of the things that we eat. Literally, it's like cereal and oatmeal peanut butter and jelly for lunch or cream cheese and jelly or Nutella and peanut butter sandwich or maybe mac and cheese. And then for pot for dinner, we have some sort of pasta and broccoli and then snacks mixed in there. Oh, did I mention the organic oregano? It is $3.96 an ounce at Walmart, $4.98 an ounce at Target and it was two seventy five from Aldi. So this organic oregano was actually five fifty eight per ounce at Aldi, and it's three ninety six per ounce at Walmart. So go to Walmart for your organic spices instead. Ireland reminded me that I forgot to talk about jerky. This is just a snack that I will send with CJ sometimes to work. So it's four ninety nine for a thing of jerky. Whoa, that's at Target and for $4.49 for jerky at Aldi. So it is cheaper at Aldi. All right, hopefully that helped you out. Walmart, Target, Aldi are my cheapest places to find organic things. Occasionally Costco, occasionally Amazon, occasionally Whole Foods, occasionally Sprouts, occasionally Safeway. <laughs> Hope that helped you and answered your questions. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.